Hi there, Jeffrey Roach from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com. Uh, Sherry's been busy uh, juicing up some tomatoes. Uh, she uh, put some bananas in the freezer earlier. Um, I've been outside working, uh, moving a section, actually two sections of fencing, uh, repositioning so that they... Uh, fit the area better, um, are stretched a little better. Um, I'm still in the process of moving them, fixing them up. Um, but, uh, I've got one, one section almost done. Then it's just moving, you know, taking the, the second section down and moving it over. Uh, basically I'm, I'm repositioning them by about, oh, eight feet or so. Um, they were, the one section was overhanging in one area. Um, and so I'm moving it, uh, cause we're wanting to stretch the fence, uh, basically run it in a different direction from where it was. And, uh, so that overhang is now the edge, the corner of, of the, the fencing and it's running the other direction. And, uh, this is so that the goats will have a, a bigger area. Um, uh, it'll also remove some of the fencing that, uh, was, um, no longer functional. Um, we've got some spots where it's, it's been damaged. Um, it's not, it's a little bit of a barrier to them at the moment, but it's not going to last long, uh, as a barrier. So, uh, I'm in the process of, of, you know, repositioning some fencing, making a bigger pasture area for them to run in. Um, and, you know, getting the, the fencing stretched and, and at the right height for them. Um, I'm still going to have some areas where I'm going to need to do some, a little bit of adjustment. Um, we've got one section right now that it's uh, only four foot fence uh, rather than six foot. Uh, and these goats are <laughs> known to jump uh, four feet or higher. So the one at least the one area, uh, I may have to, uh, do a little work on it to, uh, get it where they don't jump over it. But, uh, what I'm moving right now is six foot fence that, uh, I just want to get it repositioned and ooh, give the goats a little bit better, uh, area to run in. So, uh, but there's still some work to do. Um, it's a process, but it's, it was a nice day out there today. So I was, I've been out there working. Um, I may not get it finished tonight, but I'll be able to work on it tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be a real nice day. Uh, and hopefully I can, I want to get out and do some tilling again, uh, get the big garden tilled up a second time and work on this fencing. Um, so that'll be most of my day tomorrow. Um, and hopefully next, uh, the next nice days I'll be able to do some more work. Uh, I'm getting set to do a, a couple of projects inside. Um, we're still doing some masks at night, um, and I've got stuff that I need to work on for that. Um, I've got a bunch of straps that I need to make yet. Um, but I'm, I'm wanting to, uh, I need to work on the dishwasher a little bit, get it fixed up so it's running better. Um, it basically needs a cleaning. Uh, I haven't done that yet. Uh, I need to figure out exactly what I'm doing, how to clean it, and uh, get it where it's operating properly. And that'll be a bonus too, so. But that's for later tonight, I think. Um, so, staying busy. So I think that's going to do it for tonight. So um, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. We'll see you again tomorrow. And stay safe out there.